Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher, and today's lesson is Paper Mint. I think it's just fun, and um, it's by Sandy Hunter, and she did it in 2005. I don't know why I didn't see this before, but it is an adorable little tangle, and I've added some um, little um, extras that you can find it's from the Fairchild book and it's uh, a great little book that you can get free uh, at my store inkadoodles.com in the free downloads and it just gives you ideas for doing um, dingbats and just little extra little things on your tangles and so this was one of them so I'm just going to show you how to do paper mint and then we will do a little shading on it and just have some fun. Okay, pep I'm using a gray tile and paper mint is just a circle. Don't be afraid to draw circles. You don't need a template. You'll be able to do it. You just have to practice a little bit and they don't have to be perfectly round. I'm going to scan in a little bit so that you can see this and then I'm going to mark off. I'm going to draw a little line at the top a little line at the bottom, one on both sides because I want to, seg to section off this tangle. And I'm going to do two in between each of these. Try to do them as evenly in between as I can. So I rotate my tile and that helps. Now that I've got them all sectioned off, I'm going to round the corners at the bottom. So I'm just going to round those little corners. Just do a little rounding. And I've done rounding all the way around. Then, a Sandy, she does a little dot a little bit in, but I found that I like to just put a little dot on the end of that little line that we did. Sandy puts hers a little further in, but as we all know, Zentangle, we can just kind of add and do um, our own little um, design. And I'm going to draw another one. And I usually start out here and then draw and I bump in and I just pretend like I'm drawing and draw my circle. So I could draw all my circles one time. I could just put as many circles in here as I wanted to and they can be various sizes and I'm going to turn all of these into paper mint so we remember we want to start and put a little line across from each other and if it's a smaller you could just put one line in between each one of those to get your paper mint and then round those corners And you can kind of smooth them out if you need to so that you get that little round shape. And then I'm going to put my dot right at the end because I like that better. And I'm going to go ahead and do all of these and then we're going to add some dingbats to it. Better straighten up that. That kind of looked like an odd looking circle.
So there we have our paper mints. And now we can do a little dingbat. And one of the fun little dingbats that's in the book, the Fairchild book, is just a scroll. And I put a little weight on the end of it. Another scroll or spiral with a weight. And we just do our own little thing with these. And you can see how much fun those are. Now we can shade this. And I'm going to shade it with pink. Because I've gotten on a real kick with shading with pink. We're shading here with pink. And I could also shade with a little white because I'm using a gray tile. So we'll see what happens here. We're going to just blend this little bit here with our odorless paint thinner. When you blend on the gray, it turns it a, the paper a little dark, but it will lighten back up. But this one's just a fun, fun little tangle. Paper Mint by Sandy Hunter. Enjoy. Don't forget to check out the free book you can get at the store inkadoodles.com under the free tab. It says free and you can download it and find out more about the dingbats and other little extras that you can put with your tangles. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We put uh, new videos out on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And support comes from shopping at inkadoodles.com. Thanks again. Have a great day.